Second, I want to thank the people who made the demarcation of the city to make sure the Ngeta Zad also is the city. So we are happy to be in Rira city um, because we want to we are of being in the village, now we are in the city. But we, are, we have been working very well with our communities, but we shall continue working with them even when we are in the city. But this calls now for a change in our way of doing things. We need to now embrace urban agriculture because now we are in the city. We have been supporting towns and councils and districts and so on, but now we need to make sure that now we, we orient ourselves to make sure that we meet the demands of the urban since we are in the city. The theme of today you have been taught is our actions, uh, our future. What we do today, the action we take today, determines our future. And uh, this theme is very timely because uh, with prevailing conditions of, uh, of COVID-19, our actions are very important because they determine our future. I want to thank Chairman LC1 who have called us to go to vaccinate against the COVID because as the theme says, our action today will determine our future. Guest of honor, allow me to maybe briefly talk about Naro and Ngeta because some uh, guests may not be familiar with our organizations. But Naro is a, is a legal entity which was formed in 2005 by Act of Parliament, NAR Act, with the mandate of coordinating and overseeing of our cultural research in Uganda. That's the mandate of Naro. And that time, the act formed two types of agricultural institutes. One was national agricultural research institutes, and their mandate is strategic research or research of national importance. Then they also formed zonal agricultural research institutes. Uh, their mandate is to address the specific challenges of the zones they are working in and get at that is one of them. This institute, much as we were talking about to the Act of 2005, has been in existence over 90 years. <clears throat> it was formed in 1930s. That time it was under Serere as a cotton research center. And the, later on it was upgraded to Lango District Farm Institute to support farmers in Lango. And that time, Rang was one district. One year or two K, it was one district. So it was a farm, district farm institute for Rang to support farmers in those districts. Um, this institute operates in two subregions, Rang and Acholi. And in total, we have 17 districts. We have nine in Rang and we have eight in Acholi. That's where our mandate uh, operates in the 17 districts. So what is our role? What is our role in community development? One is supporting farming communities through training, capacity building of our stakeholders, the farmers, the extension workers, and other key stakeholders. Two, to provide improved agricultural uh, technologies. This may be varieties, it may be prototypes of machinery. We support farmers with improved agricultural technologies. Those which are proven by research to be effective and efficient. That's another role we do. Three, providing farmers with starter seed of new varieties. If we have a new variety, then we provide farmers with starter seed, of both planting materials, seed, and store. Guest of honor, we are happy to report that in northern Uganda, the narrow varieties are dominating, especially in cassava. Narrow cassava one, narrow cassava one, narrow one, narrow cassava two, and other varieties of narrow are dominating. Beans, 
We have about 22 varieties of beans and also they are dominating. So rest of owner, I think now has done a great job. And one thank farmers for adopting. You have seen how people they are, are displaying different varieties and the farmers have taken, uh, taken it, it points to adopt those varieties. But now, what is World Food Day and why are we here? 